Hey, hey, and welcome to this tutorial on basic Unix tools. Today we'll be looking at the basics of DD. So what is DD? Well, DD stands for Data Definition, and it's basically a very powerful command that lets us copy and manipulate data at byte level. In addition, DD utility is required by the POSIX standard, which means you will most likely be able to find it in any Unix-like Dong Dong server or installation. However, be very careful when you use DD. For a reason, it is nicknamed Data Destroyer. If you make a mistake, you can end up losing a lot of data in your hard drive. So, read the docs linked in the description box below before attempting to use DD. So, what is DD used for? You can burn the Unix-like distro onto a pen drive using the following command. Type DD, then followed by the input file if equals the path to the ISO file and then type of which stands for output file equals the device name of your USB drive. After this, one can type several options regarding performance, progress status or data errors. Also make sure you use the correct USB drive name. If you are using a Linux based operating system, you can use the tool LSBLK for that. Just like in the example we gave for the ISO files, DD can be used for disk cloning. The syntax used is exactly the same. Once again, I cannot emphasize this enough, but be very careful with the if and of parameters, as you can easily cause a lot of damage to your data. Now, to me, this is where it gets fun. DD can be used to read from device files and write the output to a file in the disk. So in this example, we can see how to generate one kilobyte of random numbers and store them in the disk. You can use DD to manipulate a file at any point. For example, this is how you would set the fifths and sixths bytes of a file to nil. This was our introduction to the DD command. I hope it was useful and gave you a nice idea about some of the functionalities of this tool. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!